Thank you so much for installing Wholesale Gorilla. My name is Matt and I'm the founder of Wholesale Gorilla. And today's video is just going to be a very brief overview of how to get the basics of the app up and running on your store. So we have a number of other videos um, and support documentation sections that can give you a much deeper dive into the powerful features we have to help you run your wholesale business. But this video's purpose is just to do the minimum possible to get wholesale up and running on your shop. So here we have our store, Wholesale Gorillas Shop, just a normal Shopify store. And we're gonna set a discount rule for this product here, Integrated Sleek Cotton Pizza. So right now it's $70 retail. So this tab here is just the back end of our Shopify admin for the same store. We'll go ahead and open Wholesale Gorilla. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create a discount rule. So we'll go and click this discounts tab. Right here, you're going to see a list of your currently active discounts on your shop. So next we'll go up here and click create discount. And this is our create discount window. So the first thing you're gonna do is pick a discount level. It's set to entire store, but you can also choose to set a price rule for a collection or a product. So today we're gonna to choose product and we're going to select integrated sleek cotton pizza is the product you wanna set a rule for. Click add. Now next we're gonna to wanna to set a customer tag. So any customer with this tag on their account, when they log into your store, they're going to see this pricing rule applied to the product. So we're just gonna keep it simple and say wholesale. So for customers tagged wholesale, integrated sleek cotton pizza, and we can set a percent off or a set fixed price of the product. In this case, we'll set a fixed price and um, just so it's easy to see, we'll say $22.22 .22 so we can really just see where the action happens. Um, right here, you'll notice this button apply discount to all variants. This product in particular has three variants. So if you uncheck that, the variants will drop down here and you can set a pricing rule for each specific variant there. But in this case, we're just going to apply the discount to all variants, $22.22, and click Save. And now we can see our rule has been added to our list of currently available discount rules. If for some reason you need to edit it, you can always click Edit there to open it up again. So now we need to get this tag wholesale onto a customer account. So I'm gonna head over to our customers tab. And in this case, uh, there are a number of different ways that you can create a wholesale customer. Just to keep this video short, I'm going to choose an existing customer, this wholesale gorilla test customer, and open up their account. And what we have to do here is in this tag section is add the tag wholesale to the customer account and save. Now when this customer logs into our store, our app will say, okay, they have the tag wholesale on their account. What pricing rules in Wholesale Gorilla match the wholesale tag? So now if we head back to the front end of our shop, click login. Log in with support. Password. And sign in. This will land you on your account page. Um, and if there is a valid wholesale tag on the customer account, you'll see a link to the quick order form here, as well as any custom message underneath there that you've set. Uh, but we'll go into that later in a separate video. So now if we head over to our catalog, we can find our integrated sleek cotton pizza is $22.22. We'll open that up and add it to the cart. You can see the prices just automatically change there. Add it to the cart. And this is just your normal Shopify checkout page. Um, you'll see up here there's a link to the quick order form. Um, and if there's any quantity limit restrictions or back-ordered messaging, those will appear on this page as well. But uh, we'll go into those in a separate video. So we'll go ahead and click checkout. And we have this shipping address box pop up. And this is gonna be the only difference um, from a uh, normal retail checkout that you might notice. 
And basically Shopify requires us to submit a shipping address for wholesale orders based on the API we use. So we prompt the customer here to enter their shipping info and it should auto fill whatever is set up on the customer account. Click continue. And there you go. Um, we don't have a uh, payment set up on this since this is just the development store. But uh, from here on out, it's just gonna be a normal Shopify checkout. But you'll notice that uh, the retail price here is crossed out and replaced with the wholesale price. So that's really the basics of it. Um, there's obviously a ton more you can do with the app, um, but this will just give you an overall sense of that we had to have a customer with a tag on their account that matches the tag on a discount rule in Wholesale Gorilla. So there are a number of other discounts you can create, obviously, where you can choose a collection um, or an entire store. You can kind of play around with uh, what works best for you. So thanks for watching. And um, if you look below, there'll be some links to a bunch of other uh, videos and support pages to go much deeper into some of the various settings that you can use in Wholesale Gorilla, such as custom shipping, um, net terms, order restrictions, et cetera. And always don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions.